Okay, buddy, I'm gonna get this video started, okay? You guys, we gotta get the calories out of your drinks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Fillion, and today we're gonna be going over liquid calories. Now, liquid calories are a secret killer to a lot of your weight loss goals and also to your health in general. We're gonna really briefly break it down. I'm gonna show you guys why that is. So we're gonna start things off with fruit juice. Most fruit juices are actually very, very high in calories, and that's because a lot of the times there's added sugars to them. One cup of fruit juice is going to typically be about 111 calories. An eight ounce serving is gonna come out to being one cup, but that's not what you think it is. This right here is a cup, but you're probably drinking your juice out of a cup that looks like this. This right here, as far as measurements are concerned, is actually two cups, or typically going to be about 16 ounces which means every time that you have juice in the morning, you're having 220 calories. Now for most people, we're having anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 calories per day. That's to maintain a healthy body weight depending on your activity level. If you're having 220 calories just from juice, that's almost 10% of your daily diet. I'm not a big fan of fruit juices, and a lot of the times, they don't actually have as much fruit in them as you might think. They're gonna be loaded up with extra sugars. The typical fruit juice is gonna have almost 40 grams of sugar per serving. It's terrible, really bad. That sugar is going to spike your insulin levels. That's gonna put your body into storage mode. And once you're in storage mode, your body wants to continue storing. So that's where ghrelin comes in. Your ghrelin's gonna go up. It's telling you we're in storage mode, so we need to eat more. And in this case, it's drink more. That's why a lot of the times, even if you have that one glass, you end up coming back for another one. These calories add up fast. Now that's just fruit juice. There's another drink that you might be drinking that's even worse than that. And that's gonna be pop. See, here in the north, we call it pop. But if you live in the south, that's called soda. I'm in the north, so I'm gonna call it pop. Now, regardless of what pop you choose, they all pretty much have the same calorie profile. So I'm just gonna use Coca-Cola as an example. One can, which is 12 fluid ounces, is 140 calories, almost 40 grams of sugar. Terrible. And if you're drinking a bottle of Coke, one bottle of Coke is gonna be 20 fluid ounces or 240 calories. Remember what I said earlier about your daily limit being 2,500 to 3,000? You're getting almost 10% of your daily calories just from a snack or like a drink or something like that? That's no good. So what's the alternative? Well, it's simple. We drink drinks that don't have any calories in them. My drink of choice is going to be sparkling water. I go through these like crazy. Now for a lot of people, it's too big of a change to go from pop to sparkling water all in one go. So I do have a recommendation. Switch to the Diet Coke. Now me personally, I do try to limit how many artificial sweeteners I'm taking in. But as far as aspartame goes, it's really not that bad. Now some people have made the claim that aspartame leads to cancer, but there hasn't been any studies that actually prove this. That doesn't mean that it doesn't, but since we can't prove it, personally I'm gonna say aspartame's alright, and Diet Coke is a great alternative. What's amazing about this is, think about having a can of Coke. If you replace it with this, you save yourself 140 calories. If you're having Coke or other pops multiple times per day, every time you swap out for a diet, you could be saving yourself thousands of calories depending on how much of it you drink and how often. That's huge! That change alone could be what gets you started on weight loss just by going from regular pop to diet pop. And it doesn't stop there. Another thing that I really like about diet pop is that for me personally, I don't really drink alcohol anymore. And if I'm going out on a Saturday night, it can be kind of weird being that guy that's just drinking water all night. So what I can do is I can have a diet pop or I can have a sugar-free Red Bull and it kind of gets you going there, you know? It's not alcohol, but have enough of them and you're gonna start feeling at least something. You still feel the social benefits of alcohol without actually drinking the alcohol. I think that's a win-win. So if you're drinking a lot of pop, substitute it out, get you on diet first, get used to that, and then if you wanna graduate to the big leagues, get you on sparkling water. One or two of these a day really helps curb the appetite. I love this stuff. It's kind of a secret diet hack for me. 
See, the bubbles will help fill up your stomach. And when your stomach's full, it releases a signal to the brain which says that you're full. So if you get that hunger pain, a little bit of sparkling water can actually curb your appetite so that you're able to go all the way until your next meal without having to snack on little things that really add up in calories. So I hope these little tricks were helpful for you guys. If they were, go ahead and like this video, sub to the channel, and share this with a friend. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I've got a video right here that helps you get started with calorie tracking. So go ahead and check that one out and we can help get you started losing weight today. All right, take it easy. Hey buddy, you want some sparkling water?